Let's go. It's here. Final Fantasy 16. I know it's been out for a couple days. I have had to be so patient and wait until today because I couldn't get the time off. <laughs> so here we are. It's finally here. I did play a small amount of the demo. I didn't want to play too much because I didn't want to get too spoilery. So I did play like an hour, I think, of the demo up until kind of like that first boss fight. Mini boss fight? I don't know if it's an actual boss fight because I don't know. Um, so I know what's going to happen in the first little bit because I'm going to replay that part. I'm not going to play my demo data. Oh boy, I'm excited. Been waiting for this for such a long time. It just looks like I could just sit here and watch this. It's so, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. Uh, my kind of expectations for this is a little bit different than a regular game because this is a game I have never played. We really haven't, right? It's brand new. I know a lot of people have played already. There are going to be spoilers abound. I have been avoiding YouTube and Twitch for days now. I ask, please, please, please don't spoil anything. I want to organically enjoy what is coming. We can discuss everything once it happens. But please, don't spoil. Let's, let's enjoy the ride on this. I'm so excited. Um, other than that, hey, just be kind to each other. Let's go. We are going to start brand new. Uh, do I want to look at the conf? We'll, we'll deal with it when we get to it. Let's go. Okay, screen brightness, that looks fine. Subtitles are on, vibration is on. English, English. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Gameplay is going to be... Ooh, okay. I remember being this being an option, and I'm going to do the action-focused. Okay. We could change things up later if we need to. Here we go! Here we go! Moss the Chronicler, who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. I forgot about this. Uh, just kind of a little mini fight at the beginning. It's not really even much of a fight.
It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern. Okay. Here we go. So, uh, I want a quick look. Yeah, okay. Um, at my volume settings real quick. Okay. So that's something I'll have to look at my main PlayStation. It's just my headset feels a little low, and I really want to just immerse myself in this. The camera... locks... Yeah, that's just the settings. Don't. Just like we were. Time for this. All hell is about to break loose. So that brings me to another point that I forgot to mention is that I will not be speaking during cutscenes. Time to move. Um, because I want to get the full impact of the story on the first go round. Just in time. Oh, my God, hi! I am so excited. <laughs> Oh, welcome in, Witty. <laughs> I've been just itching for this day to come. The King of Walud is our guest.
And you have his majesty's answer. you summoned us at all have you so little faith in your own men it was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms was it not or am I mistaken besides your dominant has yet to take the field And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. Kruka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. You bet, witties. Have a good day. And thanks for at least stopping in to say hi. I appreciate it. You cock. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> the front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Let's keep going. Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Whoa! I know I've seen this before, but Titan. god damn! 
almost finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Ha! And look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on. Don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Let's move, let's move! Come on, Wyvern. That. Fuck, 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 fuck. Anytime, my friend. We're getting there. Wyvern! I told you before, you do not get to die here. If you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? 
Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Two arms, then. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. All right, combat time. We're going to revisit. Yes, we're going to revisit it. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. Press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. Okay. Oh. Good. Again. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Channel your inner flame. Press triangle to cast fire, a ranged spell that can strike enemies from great distances. Well done. You wield the firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Stay quick on your feet. Press R1 to evade an enemy's attack. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy, making it susceptible to a counter using square or triangle. Okay, I remember that part. Noise. Okay. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Well, I'm waiting. Okay, gap closer was which button? The blessing of the phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such iconic feat. Press circle, right circle to swiftly close in on the distant circle is your gap closer. Both melee and ranged attacks, magic, can be used while executing a phoenix shift. Good. Fly at your foe before he can raise his gun. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended, and your energies replenished. Item usage. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Mend your wounds. Consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Consumables can be assigned to the D-pad via the Items tab in the main menu for quick and convenient use. These items can also be used directly from the menu. 
Okay. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. I wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. All right. How Let's see if we can do better than I did in the tutorial. Strength. Or the demo. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back, break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they are vulnerable. So this is this game's version of the stagger gauge. Go on, you're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Ah. Just stay calm. Ah, good lord. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Use R2 and square. R2 and square. To execute Rising Flames. A powerful, iconic ability granted Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. Well, it's time I took my own advice. I used all the tools at my disposal. <laughs> Ah. Let's try. Come on, Clive. Keep pressing. There we go. Went slightly better. I'll get used to it. I really do like the combat in this game. He won! See? I told you he could do it. Aye. Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. We'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! Hey! <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, 
Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua? You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. friends welcome home father thank you Joshua you are well I trust yes father much better today June and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa is that so <laughs> quiet talk stop it boy not now He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. <laughs> Shields dismissed! You're going, hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. All right. Sunrise, sunset. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed with a marker. Right on. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with father. So, I thought right. the exact same thing stuff uh, when I stuff. first played the demo. What a beesh. Good lord, I think she's being absolutely set up to be hated in this game. Let's just finding items. Found ourselves a potion, pretty typical first item of the game. Okay. 
can come up here, but but uh, they've closed the gates. The gates are the closed. The entrance is still open. There's a bunch of side conversation you can listen to as well. You hit by the right people. Remember, it is for us to protect his highness, not the other way around. I know that. And on my honor as a shield, I'll defend him with my life. I wonder what kind of lore you can pick up. I ignored a lot of it while I was talking there. The Phoenix will be with us. Those savages don't stand a chance. Hmm. All right. Let's head in. Anything here? I'm going to try to pick up as much conversation as possible. Oh, we can. Okay. Got, uh... You put on quite the show for us, Lord Rossfield. Any man who can do that deserves to be first shield. Age and experience be damned. All right. That was a thrilling bout, my lord. I, I couldn't look away. All right. The way I see it, it's us or them. <laughs> I know my money's on. So there's a war coming. Okay. That much was obvious. And a lot of what we just saw was actually in the first trailer. So there wasn't really any surprises there. Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> Okay, so bearers. I is so he's got the same tattoo on his face as we did in that opening scene, which must mean that they are servants or slaves of Looks some like sort. Looks getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. <laughs> I love the puppy. Well, don't you make an handsome pair. We'll be having a feast for the two of you soon enough. Okay, oh, we got someone to talk to here. 
I hope no one minds that I will be absolutely taking my time with this. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Okay. So, he's called a slave master, so that makes... Okay, so bearers then are considered slaves. We okay. We harvest stone again, apparently. If this war ends up dragging on, we'll starve. Best fill our bellies while we can then, eh? Hmm. Okay. Nothing there. What do we got up here? Uh, not much. Oh! There's an item. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. So Clive is apparently then some high potion, good. Uh, sort of a, a sh uh, so a shield, a warrior of some sort, uh, like a well-respected, I guess is maybe what I'm looking for here. Alright, let's head in. Okay. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? Okay. It's so pretty! It looks so good! Look at it! I love that they've gone back to more of a medieval theme. There's Joshua. I think there wasn't a whole lot There's going Joshua. on. Yes. Wasn't a whole lot going on in this area at the moment from when I what I remember. A lot of magic use. Look at them. This guy's uh trimming the trees it looks like or the hedges. Can't get in there. He's got a little hoop. A hoop. <laughs> Uh, another item. What do we got here? Just another potion. I hope we can hold more than the demo let us hold. Because we were only able to hold, like, five potions or something like that. Like, that's next to nothing. Uh, Joshua was over here. Clive? Hi. Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. That's such a big burden for such a little boy. I'm alright. I promise. You will put Joshua's comfort and safety before your own. Do you understand? Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> you bish. I do not like her. She is just arrogant to all hell. Ugh. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Use X to access them, then hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. Okay. Just a little bit of extra um, interaction. It really is all that is. Uh, oh. Good luck. B! Puppy beans! You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. 
do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames? Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Uh, okay, hold had to access the active time lore feature a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression ATL can even be viewed during most cutscenes later in the game okay oh this there's gonna be so much information here Roslith Castle, situated in the heart of the ducal capital of Rosalith, it is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. An architectural feat of feat the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy, and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Okay. The Grand Duchy of Rosaria, a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm, with Rosalith as its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been looked locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's breath which lies still further to the west in the midst of the boiling sea. Oh, okay. Elwyn Rosfield, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effort effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. The Iron Kingdom also known in the local tongue as Heran, the Iron Kingdom is an arch archipelago 
nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craig Loy Loy Oh my gosh. Loy's <laughs> The Mother Crystal Drake's breath rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long standing conflict between the Ironblood and the neighboring duchy, duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward looking, culture. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Mother Crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valisthea. Valisthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins people of the twins rely on in every in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystal cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. Okay. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff to read. I don't know if we'll end up reading it all, but... This war we need to wage. It isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal. Above all else, we cannot allow those Ironblood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. I wish you a safe journey tomorrow. And I you, Clive. May your blade strike true. I find it funny, too, that Elwyn knows <laughs> that his wife is a bitch. <laughs> He's like, come on, do this. Shut your mother up, please. I beg you, shut your mother up. <laughs> um, okay. Anything else left to explore? Can we go back? No, we can't go back. Kind of wanted to see what was in those little corridors, but hopefully it'll let us go back later. Let's head up. Which way? Not that way. This way. Gotta get used to the camera. It's a little bit jerky. Come out here. It's a screenshot area. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Is there any way... I'd love to get rid of the markers and just take screenshots. But I don't know how to do that at this point. Okay. No messages, my lord. Oh, okay. Thank you. We'll come back in a second. I just, I don't want to miss any sort of items or anything. So, there's going to be a lot of exploring going on. Okay, that's just back to the throne room. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days. Maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the Dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. 
Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, he's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. This is it, then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star? I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. Good night, Clive. 